sitting from the city. Shit. Just gonna play some five star wrestling re Genesis on PlayStation 4. Uh, we talked about this on episode 4 of our podcast, which has just gone live tonight. Uh, check it out on SoundCloud and iTunes and anywhere else that you can get podcasts. Uh, let's have a look at this game. Um, literally found out about it yesterday. Uh, we couldn't mention it on our podcast. And we said it was out. Um, we didn't know what it was all. We didn't know what it was about or anything like that. So here we are. We're going to try it out. So... Um, this is very much a no frill wrestling game. Uh, this is a very bargain bin sort of looking game as well. And look at it, it looks like Legends of Wrestling from um, the PlayStation 2. So, exhibition doesn't really offer much. You can have a wrestling match or a submission match. Uh, two out of three fours. Uh, four out of match, which is interesting. Um, four count anywhere. And no hold five. Okay, so let's treat you to a normal wrestling match. There's a few different rules and stuff on here. And there's a few different arenas you can look at too. A gym, the five star wrestling arena, and full time battery, and the broadcast arena. There are some unlockables too, which I shall show you after we've had a match. So let's just, uh, let's just fire the assault and battery arena. Okay hey guys, as always, I am live on the join the front of the tent. Please do, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask. If you are watching this web perspective, as always, thank you very much for watching. Okay, so here we go. Uh, there aren't many wrestlers on here, and the ones that are on here are sort of parodies of real life wrestlers. So here we go, there's Andy Organ. Um, Andy Organ is clearly Randy Orton. <laughs> Curtis Angel. Um, if you don't know who that is, that's obviously Kurt Angle. This one, I'm actually not sure about. Um, I know that, well, this is from what I read earlier on today, that uh, Rey Mysterio is going to be in this game. Actual Rey Mysterio as DLC. When that's going to happen, I'm not 100% sure. So we've got Greg Hardy. Jeff Hardy, Harvey D, which is going to be RVD, Johnny Maivia, um, The Rock, um, Mike Iceberg, Goldberg, Rack and the Brock, can only be one person I guess. And so um, let's be let's be Andy. Uh, let's take on Dynamite Pegasus. I have had one match on this so far, which um, I didn't dislike, to be honest. I thought it was okay. I thought it was pretty pretty fun. I mean, the graphics are pretty awful. Your Some of the connections are pretty good. From Springfield, Illinois, <laughs> What's funny is when you turn this game on, um, because, you know, the wrestlers in this game are not affiliated with wrestling at all. Uh, not affiliated with real life wrestlers, it's a parody of the wrestling industry. So, uh, cool arena. So here it is. So it, it looks, um, it does feel like Legends of Wrestling as well from um, from the PlayStation 2. And, uh, okay, so as you can see, the connection system isn't great. Uh, it's weird to have an alternative to um, WWE 2K. Which, me and Finn were playing yesterday. Yeah, I'm just doing a reversal system. Submission system is pretty much a button, button mashing type of thing. Okay, nice tilt of your backbreaker by Dynamite Pegasus. Okay, so our, the left, well the right stick is grapple. And there's four different grapples and there's also a grapple modifier which is R2. Okay, so which grapples is like that? Like a big massive DDT. Take down. 
I mean, this game isn't terrible. I mean, it, it, don't get me wrong, it isn't a game of the year candidate, nor is it going to replace WWE 2K16 in your collection. But, it is quite fun. I mean, it's, this was 15, 15 pounds, so... Um, I'd say, you know, it's maybe worth checking out if you bought a WWE 2K16 perhaps. Um, you know, I think the trophies are going to be fairly easy as well. Nice. Uh, that signals that Dynamite Pegasus has this finishing move, which uh, you can actually do by pressing so worth getting used to. Uh, no, exactly. But this guy's thing is a critical crossbow. I mean, the character model is very, very basic. No doubt about it. But, again, it's, it is what it is. This is a budget game, nice boat line. This is a budget game, a fifteen pound game. Um, mocking I'm sorry, mocking is probably not the right word. So it's like a parody of actual wrestling, actual professional wrestling. Okay. And now uh, Andy Organ has his finishing move, let's see what it is. I wonder what it is. And it's the <laughs> Okay all right, I know that. So there's no way I'm going to put him yet. One. Yeah, just a one count. So you see, sort of in the corner where the bar is, I guess, that is um, sort of indicating how much damage you're doing to specific body parts. It's actually quite a sophisticated system for such a um, Paul's No Thrills game. So, I mean, if you want to go a little bit deeper than WWE 2K16, and um, you want to try something a little different, you know, this, this I mean, you know, don't overlook it, it's probably worth a go, it's quite a lot of fun. Sure, the graphics are fun, fun as well. Okay, so Dynamite Pegasus is pretty technical. Okay. It's a pretty cool move on it as well, so um, I was quite surprised, I thought I was expecting sort of four or five moves per, per guy, but um, I don't mind it, so I it's okay. It's quite, it's quite decent moves on it. Spinning DDT, I guess. So there's, there's light grapples and there's medium grapples. I think L2 um, the modifier as well, but I'm not 100% sure. It doesn't, I haven't really done anything for me yet. Dynamite Pegasus really is living the sound bar. It's only the second match we've had on this, I've still been sort of skimming the menus and seeing what you can and can't do. There is a, a ton of unlockables on this game as well. I think you're in cash uh, for good matches. I think. And then you have to buy the unlockable different arenas for your favourite five star wrestling new Genesis superstars. So I need to reverse it back into his favourite move, the armbar. And oh, he reversed the armbar. Oh, it looks like if you do a bit of button mashing, it's uh, a little bit. Oh, I thought it was this one. Okay, we're just going on. Nothing. Okay, down on my Pegasus, it's going straight after Andy Rogan. Go back to he's wearing the arms out. He's wearing Andy Organ's arms out. Oh crap, okay. Yeah, road break, come on. You gotta put Road break! Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Oh, got me down. I mean, I get, it is pretty nice to have an alternative to WWE 2K16, but at the same time, I mean, you know, this isn't the world's greatest thing in the world. 
Am I going for this? I no, I'm going for this. The similarities between this and Legend of Destiny, you know, they are definitely there. Some sort of animation really moved on. Squares Run, which is weird as well. So this is, yeah, it's pretty strange. So it's like the old Smackdown 2 days. So I need to get some offense in there, because Dynamo Pegasus has been pushed in my ass. Yeah, he's beating the crap out of me. Dynamo Pegasus is really good in front of me. He's had two RKO's as well, and he's still, he's still good in front of me. Yeah, it takes a head that's that. Alright, okay, so it's finishing move time again. And you have a certain amount of time, I think, to execute this finishing move. Um, and you can do as many as you want in that time as well. So, Dynamo Pegasus' head is pretty damaged, but I'm going to give him one more RKO just for good measure. Double the risk, there we go, you see, so it was great to be having this game, we threw a big choke in here. Um, US like collection trophies. And Dynamite Pegasus is out. There's some trophies to be had, I mean, I've, I've had a few since I've been playing this. <laughs> and the, the entrance music's pretty cool as well, so... Um, <laughs> uh, Andy Organ's entrance music is fairly similar to his voices that he would have. Uh, I put on a, a really great one and a half star match there. I'm not really sure what you need to do to get a five star match or how long you have to go. Let's have a look. Uh, so the psychology of the match, two three, whatever that means. Assignment to 20, moment to five and four, right to me, so I guess that is. So, so they're pretty stingy with the score, I'm guessing. Okay, well that's fun. Okay, let's show, so let's show you the score what you're doing. I haven't checked out the challenge yet, so let's have a look at the wrestling match. Um, you earn stars and stuff, I guess. I don't know if you, I guess this is sort of like the career mode. Infiltrate a danger. Okay. okay, so maybe Mike Iceberg uh, of Goldberg on this game is the main boss. I'm not sure. I mean, this is like uh, not the basic career mode. So there is also a ton of them off the water, and you know, these things cost, so um, there's a Curtis Angel costume. Uh, I can't actually see how much I have in the bank at the minute, simply because my face is in the way. It's in the so it's face alignment, I'm not really sure about that. Um, I'm guessing the, I don't know if you can hear it or not, but I'm guessing the music that's in the background is um, just or the rock is definitely is. On this game, I guess that's the game. Now let's have another match. I mean, this is this is tough on this game. Let's go for let's go for no hold star. I'm not sure if we can it on here. Let's go for the broadcast arena. So I haven't been yet. Um let's let's be Let's see Ragnar Brock. And, uh, let's go up against... Uh, let's go up against Greg Harty. Did you change costumes? Okay. Nice no, no disqualification, no town towers, no hold bar. If you play to pin or submit their opponent wins, you'll have until the count of ten outside the ring and disqualification applies. Oh. Your first competitor from Indianapolis, Indiana, weighing in at 290 pounds, Ragnar Brock! Okay, Your next Brock. Yeah, I know, right? The names are hilarious. Mr. Hartman himself, Greg Hardy! Greg Hardy. Yeah, in a seriously dumb, obvious sort of way. This is, um... Oh, okay, so... Okay, good fine buster. Um, Finn is joining me on the comments here. He um, he's absolutely spot on when he says that this is dumb in a very obvious way. Okay. And Harty is going to fly 
Go out of the rain, I guess. Might want to turn the game audio down a bit. But we can do it now while we are playing the game. Oh, we can. Alright, so let's do this. Keep the settings. Um, crack on, okay. Ben, let me know if this is... Uh, if the in-game audio is still an issue. Nice hit toss. Okay, I'm pretty sure Ragnarok's ass nearly just came out of his red and black shorts. Gonna stay out there as well. It looks like. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, the glass is definitely coming out. I don't remember the last time you saw Ragnarok do a first one from the top rope. Not me neither. Music's still a bit loud. Shouldn't be now because it's now gone. So, I mean, the, the guys in this game do actually have the moves that their real-life counterparts would have. So, you know, you've got to got to hand it to them for, for that, at least. Okay, so... Oh. Nice drop toe hold by Greg Harty. Oh, and he has his finishing move. Nice takedown by Ragnarok. I mean, if you're if you are looking for a game that's going to replace WWE 2K16, this is not it. Um, is it a slightly fun, cheap alternative? Yeah, sure. Uh, am I going to beat Finn's ass on it when he comes to mine next? Yes, of course, I definitely am, and I'm going to take my championship back that he won from me on yesterday's stream, 100%. So, Greg Harvey, Harty, which is, uh, don't want to get done for copyright, uh, Greg Harty is definitely sort of like the upper hand there. Oh, I was loving the submissions. Oh, I made it to the ropes. Okay. I don't wish I know. Make it uh, make it happen. Make the rematch happen. Okay, I'm still trying to get used to the buttons here. Nice spine buster. Now, like I said before, this is literally fifteen pounds. I mean, if you want to sort of mess around with it, maybe get the trophies and stuff like that. You know, I, it's, it's, it's worth it. It's a lot of fun. I mean, because we're a wrestling and video game podcast, and here comes the... Oh, okay. Okay, I see how this is. Quick, have we got time to get a, the Ragnarok F5 in? No, but... Okay, nice single arm DDT from uh, Greg Harty. Not really much selling as far as moves are concerned on this game. You, you are down or you are up, and that is basically it. I'm not sure how the reversal system works, I'm not sure how the timing really goes, but... Some of the moves are actually pretty cool. Uh, I will say that much. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I pressed the button for, to do the Ragnarok finishing move. Here we go. Okay, Greg's not weak. Oh, okay, nice F5. Let's go for the pin. I think that's going to be enough. His body isn't damaged enough, I don't think. Yeah, he's kicked out too. Classic Greg Harty. Fighting until the end. What a true battler. 
So as you can see, the connection system is pretty crap. I mean, they must have made this game in like a couple of weeks, maybe. From what I read earlier on, as well, they had a wrestling show to promote this, which had a great-looking card, but then they didn't apparently they didn't mention the game at all during the entire show. Um, and that, that's coming from people that were actually there. Oh, okay, so so I don't know what the point of that really was. Still think I'm still getting to the grips with the fact that X is grapple and uh, that X is not grapple and X is strike. Okay, he keeps going for that. Nope, he will not tap me out. Mm -hmm. I think it maybe they'd have put a bit more into this game. You know, it could have been, it could have been so cool. I mean, it is pretty cool, but it's not like screw you. It's not breaking down any barriers as far as innovation is concerned. But again, I do like the, you know, the sort of damage system. I think that's quite good. Uh, I like some of the moves. Uh, I like, I mean, absolutely a plus for effort in as far as making the characters funny and um, such obvious parodies of real life superstars um, that's pretty funny uh, I like the arena design as well I know it does the graphics are very basic but uh, I do quite like the arena uh, the arena design I think that's pretty cool what we got here suplex city bitch Nice oozing ass from the crowd. The crowd don't really get involved much. Um, there's a lot of crappy BGM that goes along with this. Greg Hart is still, unless that rubbish submission is his finishing move, which I don't think it is. You imagine it would be a spawn bomb. And that can't be it. Break. Yeah, road right, break. Right. Okay, he's, yeah, he's going up top, so I'm going to guess it's the swan bomb. Um, I had a match with uh, Harvey D. RVD earlier on, and uh, before I started streaming, and he was uh, going for the five star frog splash. So, uh, okay, pretty. This is classic Ragnarok. Nice triple backbreaker. Oh, okay, the Kimura arc. Nice. Okay, Jeff's having none of that. Good on, Jeff. Never Jeff. Nice SDO takedown. So, I mean, like I said, I mean, the moves are pretty cool. They're, they're, they're fairly well animated, you know, in comparison to some other stuff that's on this game. But um, <clears throat> what do we want from the £15 budget wrestling title that was, you know, made pretty quickly? Follow up here. Loving that submission. To be honest, you do actually get a fairly decent match out of this. It's pretty competitive for a, a match against AI. Alright. Greg, your time is up, my friend. Or not. It's not up. The time is not up yet. Oh, he's going to the top as well. Can I reverse him from the top right? No, but my... Get up, god damn you. Okay. Is L2 a... Yes, it is, by the looks of it. Oh, he's also going to do a big, massive power bomb. Oh, okay, cool. So, no normal right stick does four moves. Um... Holding R2 and using the right stick in the same four directions, there's another four moves. And then L2 is also a move modifier.
Greg Hardy, god damn you. Man, it is getting harder and harder to break out of this submission. Uh, already I prefer the submission system to the WWE 2K16 submission system because that blows. Uh, we proved that yesterday when we can't tap anybody out on our stream. And I don't actually think I've managed to do it ever. Oh, okay. Nice. Okay, that's pretty cool. That was, uh, that, I remember that move from uh, WWE Here Comes the Pain on the PlayStation 2, which is still a fantastic game even now. Oh, the triple powerbomb as well. Um, why has Greg Hardy got his finishing move? He's been just getting his ass beaten by Ragnarok all this time. <laughs> okay, that was pretty ridiculous. Right, now Greg Hardy, your time is up. It actually is this time. See you, my friend. Oh, there we go. If he isn't done for this time, then he is one very resilient guy. Ragnarok wins. Yep, with the uh, Ragnarok classic Ragnarok pose. He wins on TV as well, so on the broadcast of Five Star Wrestling. There we go. Oh, that was a better match. So four and a half stars. Okay, that's pretty cool. So you did get a pretty competitive match out of this, which I'm very, very surprised about. Um... Okay, so that's basically all there is to this game. It's a bad game. It's not going to replace WWE 2K16 in your collection. But if you want a cheap alternative, then maybe 5 Star Wrestling Regenesis is worth a look. Um, I'm certainly in having a lot of fun with it, but it's not going to be for everybody. Not at all. But, okay, so I've shown you that. That's pretty much all for me for now. Um, my next stream will be Unravel, which will either be, won't be tonight, might maybe tomorrow night. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, if you have just tuned in, I'm sorry you've missed me doing it, but you will be able to catch this retrospectively on the YouTube channel. So as always, I'm going to do some shameless self-promoting. Go check us out on Twitter at SullyFinPC. Go listen to our podcast on SoundCloud and iTunes and anywhere else that you can listen to podcasts. For now, thank you very much, guys.